Hello, here's the preview video for Sunday, May 19th, Preschool. Uh, this is the Bible story of Aaron Helps Moses, Exodus 17, 8 through 13. This is one where uh, Moses is leading the Israelites in a battle over the Amalekites, I believe. But what's unique about it is every time Moses has his arms up and he's holding the staff up above his head, the Israelites are winning. But if his arms get tired and he lowers his staff, then they start losing in the battle. So... Uh, you're going to start with a fun activity here. Hold them up. Gather the children spread out in an open area of the room and ask them to raise their arms up and out to the sides so they're parallel with the floor. Challenge them to see how long they can hold their arms up in this raised position. You can kind of add some other movements to that that says, you know, shake their arms out, try again. Uh, just challenge the kids with kind of that uh, endurance, endurance test. Uh, next one is to help. Uh, we have the activity pages here. And there are four professions, so police officer, teacher, doctor, and there are cards with uh, different symbols on them, uh, like the police officer has a whistle, things like that. And so that is right down in here. So you set the, the people cards over to the left and then the symbol cards over to the right and have the kids try to match up which person goes with which symbol and so on. Uh, next is the staff walking uh, activity where you're going to have the kids uh, take turns, kind of like a follow the leader with the pool noodle walking stick. Remind the boys that it's not a weapon, but it's a walking stick. And then they can uh, kind of connect with that aspect of what Moses' staff was in, in the sense of it kind of being like a walking stick for him because he was an old leader. Uh, next is help me. No supplies needed on this. Uh, it's a memory verse. Um, activity so you just kind of say bits and pieces of the memory verse and challenge the kids to help you fill in the parts that you seem to forget so uh, next is a little help from my friends another activity with no supplies needed this is kind of a Bible reenactment activity um, where if you want you could um, integrate this with the pool noodle as well where the kids holding the pool noodle up but it's basically one of the kids is going to be like Moses and then the other two, you have two other kids come over and kind of help hold that child's arms up. And that child who is Moses can be the one holding the pool noodle. Uh, last activity is a craft with a frog hat. I've kind of changed some things about the craft that they had. Uh, I kind of think I made it, made it a little bit better. But anyway, here's what we have. So you have the frog cutouts. So there's a stack of those. And I have frog eyes that are kind of uh, done in the Kermit the Frog style there. Uh, but here's a finished product. So you can take the glue sticks and glue the eyes onto the frog cutout. And then on the back side, you can put one of these story review labels on it. It says, hop to it, God helps me do big things. And kind of put that on the back. And then I have a bunch of headbands. So you can use a stapler to staple the headband to the bottom of the frog cutout. And uh, then the kids can just stretch that headband over their head to wear their new frog hat craft. So that's it. Uh, after this activity, if you still have time, I did leave the journal and prayer activity on here, which is kind of a scripted way to uh, bring the energy in the room down a little bit. Uh, you can talk to the kids about any kind of prayer requests they have. You can have them sit on the rug, you could write their prayer requests on the board. That's a good way to just kind of bring things down a little bit before their parents come to get them. But that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.